Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my wealthy lifestyle. I hope all is well with you and your family. It's a rainy day today. On my way to the dentist. The word for today is stop being jealous of other people's blessings. Stop being jealous of other people's blessings. There's enough blessings to go around for everyone. Everyone. There's enough. We don't have to be jealous and envious of anything. God is allowing you to go through things that you don't really have to go through, but you got to go through it because he has to break you of your jealousy. Being jealous will cause you to miss out on what God has for you by looking at the next person. Focus on you. I'm talking to myself too. Focus on yourself. Be thankful for what God has already given you. And a lot of times God is trying to see how you will respond to other people being blessed. You are being blessed too. But each and every blessing is different. God is not going to give us anything. We will not meet our fullest potential until we learn how to be happy for the next person. We won't reach our highest potential until we are able to accept other people's blessings other people's blessings, things that God is blessing them with. Some people are jealous of your gifts. All of us have one. We might not, some of us have more than one. But we can't be jealous of other people's gifts because you don't know what they had to go through to get to the gift. You don't know what they're going through with the gift. So embrace what God has already given you. You can't Look at the other person and say, well, I want what this person has. Because you don't know what that person had to go through to get what they have. Be grateful for what you have. Big and small. God is watching us to see just what he can trust us with. God won't trust you with bigger and greater things because you're so envious. And so jealous of other people's breakthrough, other people's blessing. I am passionate about this. God was speaking to me this morning about this. How people go around and they are looking at other people's blessings instead of focusing on what he's already given them. You can't watch and focus on other people's stuff when you need to be focusing on yourself. Embrace what God is giving you. Embrace it. You might feel that you are not as attractive as, as, as the next person. But embrace what you have. Embrace it. We can't change it. The only thing we can do is embrace what God has given us. And get our bodies and our minds and our spirit to its greatest potential. That's the only thing we can do. Be the best version of who we are. That's the only thing we can do. And when we do that, we're going to love who we are. And we're going to stop looking at other people and what God is blessing them with. And, and focus on ourselves. 
This day is a great day, even though it's raining today. This is liquid sunshine, and just to be able to wake up this morning, because a lot of people didn't wake up, is a is a is a blessing. And you might not feel like you are at your fullest potential, but you can get there. If you focus on yourself, you can get there. Don't focus on what someone else has. This person may have a bigger house than yours. This person may have a finer car than yours, a better looking car than yours. Embrace what you have because when you embrace what you have, God is going to give you greater. And when you can be happy for what other people have or what God is giving them, then God can trust you with more. Don't hinder your breakthrough. Don't hinder your blessings because you're so envious and jealous of someone of what God is blessing them with or what they, they have. Ask God, what's your gift? Focus on the gifts that God has given you because you have one. We all have to embrace what God has given us. All of our gifts, one gift is no important than the, uh, the, uh, the, than the next gift. You have to embrace who you are to become the best version of yourself. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.